svima, moje ime je Vladimir Živanović, ja sam facility manager u Deleuze Srbiji i danas ću vam pričati o facility managementu u logistici. Na početku samo kratko o kompaniji, znači Deleuze Srbija je članica Deleuze grupe koja ima sedište u Belgiji i trenutno imamo operacije u sedam zemalja na tri kontinenta. Što se tiče samo Srbije, mi smo trenutno najveći retailer lanac u našoj zemlji. Imamo 396 maloprodajnih objekata, različitih formata. Predpostavljam da svi znate naše formate, to su Maxi Shop & Go i Tempo. Maxi Shop & Go i Tempo, i currently we employ over 11.000 people. When we talk about the division I am responsible for, facility management division is in charge of maintenance and management of all kinds of equipment, systems and devices. Onda tehnički razvoj svih tehničkih projekata vezanih za logistiku i priprema i kontrola budžeta za operacije koje kao što su okrenu održavanja energetika i isto tako i investicije i tehnika razvoja. Our new distribution center was opened and currently the largest object of this type in this part of Europe. On a space of 25 hectares of space, the distribution center with the additional facilities covers about 80,000 square meters and there is about 100,000. This is the first phase of this project. In the near future, na konačnih 125.000 kvadrata. Trenutno je objekat podeljen na dva dela, znači na ambijentalni deo skladišta koji zauzima 46.000 kvadrata i na temperaturski režim, odnosno temperaturski deo temperaturski kontrolisan deo skladišta koji se sastoji od komora za smrznutu robu, sveže meso, delikate, smleko i mlečne proizvode i voći i povrći. Što se tiče facility managementa, mi smo ga podelili na dva dela, na light facility management i hard facility management. U light facility management spadaju praktično sve vrste unutrašnjeg čišćenja i pranja, onda eksterno čišćenje u koje u letnjoj sezoni spada i pranje sa obraćajnica, a u zimskoj sezoni uklanjanje snega i leda, onda održavanje zelenih površina koje takođe u letnjoj sezoni podrazumeva košenje trave i odnošenje sa objekta, dezinfekcija, dezinsekcija, deratizacija i čišćenje uljnih separatora. Što se tiče hard facility managementa, njega smo takođe podelili po vrstama servisa. Znači, imamo grupe kao što su sistemi visokog napona, niskog napona, grejenja, ventilacije i klimatizacije, raskladni sistemi, gas systems, firefighting, water, sewage system, BS i skates, batteries and forklifts, elevators and construction works. When you talk about the symptoms of a high voltage, we have transformers and energy panels, lightning, generators, and currently this subject has two power stations. In case of energy cutting, we have two generators and uh, we have 11 oops of total power over 270 kilo volt amper. When we talk about a system of low voltage, for all the systems there are detailed plans for uh, preventive and corrective maintenance, uh, fire detection, access control and anti-intrusion systems and uh, we have uh, over 300 uh, cameras and nine fire detection centrals. Uh, when we talk about the uh, systems for heating and air conditioning, 
and precise uh, air conditioning. The main part of this system, of a heating system, is the boiler room and uh, gas total uh, of total power 4 megawatts and uh, air conditioning uh, have capacity over 126,000 um, meters. These installations have been divided into Ammonia installations, glycol installations, fran installations. The mains are ammonia compressors and combined cooling power. And uh, we have uh, cooling power of over 4 megawatts and while evaporative condensers of total power of 5 megawatts. When we talk about uh, gas uh, systems, uh, we have gas uh, substations, internal gas installations, and two gas regulated stations of total gas flow of 650 per hour when we talk about uh, uh, firefighting systems uh, we have a sprinkler hydrant uh, and installations of in inter gas of 55 uh, the the heart of the two are uh, two sprinkler pumps uh, uh, of uh, 306 kilowatt each and uh, nominal flow of uh, 10,000 per minute, and we have two hydrant pumps over 6, 8 uh, kilowatts each. When we cover inert gas of 55, is used in critical zones, and we use it for power station and server serving services uh, and rooms, and uh, we have over 500 kilo in six zones. When we talk about water and sewage systems, uh, it covers uh, systems of uh, rainwater, sewage, sanitary systems, and booster pumps. Uh, the greatest part of this system covers pluvial system with uh, its capacity over 75 flow per liter per minute. Uh, and BMS Cascade, uh, these are systems for distance controlling. This system covers um, all our other systems and installations uh, within this distribution centers and uh, we c control over 6,000 uh, signals. So when we talk about uh, material handling equipment, uh, and uh, uh, there is uh, docks, uh, levelers, doors, wrecking systems, scales, and etc. And uh, we have uh, also about uh, 120 docks levelers and then wrecking systems with a capacity over 85,000 pallet places. And when we talk about batteries and forklifts, uh, this uh, smart uh, batteries has the capacity of uh, 530 kilowatts and with uh, tw uh, 200 uh, chargers, and that is enough to, for the powering of our uh, stock of uh, forklifts uh, with three shifts uh, working within our distribution center. And at the end, what one facility manager should have is uh, to be acquainted with the uh, data, with the finances, uh, budgeting, uh, should uh, know regulations, domestic regulations, and their impacts on facilities, uh, to be familiar with companies and its specifics, uh, specificities, and to uh, react uh, properly during the risks and uh, to be a leader and to have uh, good competencies when we talk about information technology because all new IT technologies are laying on information technologies and, uh, and to be in good cooperation with all other divisions and uh, departments uh, within its company in order to better understand their specificities and needs and to help them. That was from my side. If you have any questions.